God knows us, God thinks about us. And because of that, he also speaks to us. And it's a very important knowledge to have that God speaks to us. Job chapter 33, verse 14. For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. God speaks to us one way or the other, and sometimes we are not able to get what he is saying. This statement is from a young man called Elihu. He was one of the companions of Job, and he spoke by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and he talks about the fact that the Spirit of God inspires us, and the Spirit of God lives in us, and the Spirit of God speaks to us. And sometimes we don't get when God is speaking to us. The Bible teaches us clearly that God is not a silent God. He is a God who makes himself known, and he is a God who's, who makes his thoughts known. He speaks. He has revealed himself. We don't serve a mysterious God who cannot be understood. The God who created all things has made himself known and has spoken to us. Now, all of us go through situations where we feel we can't hear what God is saying or God's voice is not clear to us, and we wonder whether God is really present with us in the situation. And the reason why sometimes we are not sure whether God is speaking to us is sometimes we have an idea of how God should speak to us. We probably think a voice would be heard thundering from the heavens uh, and God in a very deep baritone voice would speak to us. If that's what you're looking for, a very loud, very, very royal voice from the skies, you may miss God. God speaks to us and one of the primary ways he speaks to us is through his written word, the Bible. In the Bible, we see God speaking to people. And the words he speaks to them, he's speaking to us too. We speak God interacting with people. And the interaction he has with them, he wants to have with us too. We see God guiding people. And the guidance he's given to them, he wants to use it for us also. So in the Bible, God speaks to us. And by reading the Bible and reading what God has said, we are reading his word into us. So when we read the Bible, it's important for us to open our heart to the voice of God. Through the experiences of others, he's speaking to us. Through the miracles that he did for others, he's doing miracles in our lives. So God speaks to us through his word, but he also speaks to us through the Holy Spirit who lives in us, and the Holy Spirit lives in you if you are a believer and you are a child of God. He lives in you, and through you, he allows the voice of God to be heard. So each one of us, through the written word of God and through the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit, hears from God. But as Elihu says, God speaks to us in one way or the other, yet we don't perceive it. Because sometimes what we are looking for is not exactly what is happening. God can speak to us in dreams. He can speak to us in vision. He can speak to us through other people's voices. He can speak to us through experiences. And there are so many ways in which he speaks to you. And so today my prayer is that you will hear his voice for that decision you want to make, for that choice you want to make, that you hear the voice of God clearly. God will speak to you through his word, maybe through this broadcast, through the Holy Spirit living in you, or through some other means, you will hear the voice of God. May you perceive the voice of God today. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to hear when you speak. I open my heart to your Holy Spirit. Speak, Lord. Your servant hears. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Pastor Mensah Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.